Hi everyone. Okay, so this week's video is not related to last week's video, but the week before that when I did 10 things I love, this week I am doing 10 things that I hate. Yay! Hatred. No, hatred's a bad thing. Don't hate. No hate. One. The cold. I live in New England. It gets really cold here. And when you get like the rain and the sleet and the snow and the cold, I feel like there's hair on my arms. Um, when you get like the rain and the sleet and the snow and the cold and it's like the wet damp cold that just kind of goes right through you and chills you to the bone. I hate it. I hate the cold. Two. And if you have ever lived with a roommate, you will probably understand this. <sighs> Roommates never leaving the room. Yeah. I had a roommate once leave the room for like 30 minutes. All weekend. It's the only time she left. She left for 30 minutes. Yeah. I'm, I'm an introvert. I enjoy having my own space. So not having my own space. It's not fun for me and I tend to, I go, I go absolutely crazy. Even though I already am crazy. I go crazier when I don't get to actually like introvert and like sit by myself and not worry about like disrupting someone else because I just, I'm that type of person. I'm always freaked out about like disrupting people and I'm a people pleaser. So I like to have my own not just by own space, but I like to just be alone for long periods of time. <laughs> Which might not be too good, but whatever. So that's the second thing that I hate. I feel like I'm talking a mile a minute. Yeah, that made sense. <sighs> blah, blah, blah. Three. Ooh. My job. No, my job, it's its messy, the people are rude, people stand in your way, and I sit for 20 minutes, which is my break. Other than that, I am up walking. And the managers are rude, and everyone is rude, and there was this one time, I think it was last week actually, that there was this girl who, she was like, we have to like, do like orders, and so we walk around and like fulfill like the orders for people who order things online. I'm not going to say what exactly it is because I don't want them to find this and I, I need the money so I don't want to get fired. Um, but she just like, she was doing like something and she was talking crap about the place right in front of the manager. So the manager started yelling at, started yelling at her and she started yelling at him and it was like two 12 year olds going like, I was like, I work with children. Good. And then I found out she's like five years older than me and I was like, huh? I was like, you're, f what? I was like, but the way you handled, okay. Mm -hmm. And so everything is just, it's very cluttered, sturdy. It's no, none of the employees are treated with, with respect. Fuller. One, two, three, four. I missed. I missed. Oh. Um, four is homophobia. And I know this doesn't exactly sit well with people. Being gay is something, like, you don't decide that it's, like, a chemical, like, predisposition that, like, people are born with. So hating someone for being gay, I kind of see it the same as, like, being racist or, like, sexist which some people still are sexist and racist and they're just as bad but i just i don't know because most of my friends are gay or bisexual going along with this just a side note i'm straight just because most of my friends are bisexual or gay does not mean that i am people tend to group us together and when i find out that most of my friends are they assume that i am too I'm not. I have my own boobs. I don't need any more. No. K. 
Okay. No, but I just think, I don't know. And then, like, at the same time, like, I don't like it when people shove their ideals down people's throats. And I really hope you're not taking it that, that this that way. Um, it's just my opinion. Um, and this is strictly, like, a my opinion video. Um, but I just, it just kind of irks me when people are like, it makes you less of a person because of who you like or what you like. On a completely different note, five. Oh, crumbs in your bed? I hate it. I, I eat in my bed all the time. I used to be really bad about like bringing food into my room and eating it. <laughs> and then I would like get up and then I would like go to bed that night and I would just feel all the crumbs that I was like, ugh. ugh. Six is people belittling a band or a singer because of the music genre they are a part of or like a single that they've put out. I know for me, I'm a huge music person. Most of the bands or like the singers I like, I don't like any of their singles because they're, the, the singles are made to be played on the radio whereas the other songs are just are more in tune to what the artist wants their album to sound like. I guess it's kind of like the judging a book by a, its cover. It's judging a band by their single. Still not quite sure like where to put my hands so that you can see them. Seven. Um, fake people. This includes like two-faced people, backstabbers, fake people. I just, I don't, I don't see the point in either trying to get people to like you or trying to get people to dislike you for someone that you are not. It happens in high school all the time. I know I was friends with a girl who essentially just talked to me and one of my other friends in our physics class because she needed people to sit with, but she never actually like hung out with us any other time ever. We also, I also went to school with a uh, pageant queen. <laughs> so, she was fake. Nobody liked her. I, just, I don't see the point in pretending to be someone that you're not. Just to get have things be like a certain way. I don't know. I just I don't like people like that. They irk me. My phone keeps buzzing. Nah, phone. Eight. When so when someone is clearly like upset with you and like just upset in general and they don't explain it. And you're like, I want to help you and I want to make things better and I want to apologize for like whatever I did to upset you. But I don't know what's wrong because you're not explaining it. And then you're like, so what's wrong? And they're like, you should know. And it's, no, I can't read minds. <sighs> kind of, I don't know. When people don't explain things, it's just, Meh. what do you want from me? <laughs> Nine. So if you're feeling bad about something or if you're like a little bit upset about something, um, which I think everyone has a right to be upset about, you know, essentially anything going on in their life, you also have a right to be happy with whatever is going on in your life. Um, but when people tell you that you don't deserve to be, that you shouldn't be super upset about something because people have it worse than you. It's like, I'm getting this from the internet, but it is, it's like saying that um, people don't have a, you shouldn't be super happy because someone has it better than you. Just don't do it. It only makes things worse. And nobody's going to like you if you are that person. Telling someone not to be upset because people have it worse is just a jackass move. Don't. Do it! Finally, number 10. I just really bossed it. Um, when people have friends fight their battles for them. I was always taught you fight your own battles. 
If you have someone else fighting your battles, that's the worst way. And you're, nothing, nothing is going to be solved that way. Things are going to get worse. That's the way it is. You're not going to fix any issues that you have if your friends are the ones fighting your battles for you. People can only help you to a certain point. I don't like it when people do that. I hate it. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. That's it for this week's video. Um, like, subscribe. It's all below. I hope this isn't one of the 10 things that you hate. I promise I'm not that funny. Thanks for watching. Bye.